All right, this is just going to be a nice quick video to show you how to calculate average atomic mass. Um, so first off, uh, know that an element can exist in a number of forms called isotopes. Okay, so isotopes are the same atom, same identity, but they vary in mass. Okay, they vary in mass. And remember that uh, what changes is not the protons because the protons give you your identity. Okay, so they have the same number of protons. All isotopes of an atom have the same number of protons. So um, carbon, for example, all the different isotopes of carbon, they all have six protons. That's not what changes. Okay, all isotopes of um, iron have the same number of protons. They have 26 protons. Okay, protons doesn't change. That's the identity. What changes is the number of neutrons. So there can be varying number of neutrons, which gives these isotopes um, a slightly different behavior. Okay, and so your average atomic mass, this is your AMU. This is what is recorded on your periodic table. That is why they don't have um, a whole number. Like you, you notice that oxygen uh, atomic mass is 15.999. Why isn't it just 16? It's because it's based on the average of all of the isotopes that exist for it, okay? So how can we calculate the average atomic mass of an element, okay? Well, here's your equation. So on that equation sheet that you have, add this to it. So atom, average atomic mass, or AMU, equals the summation of, so this is a math symbol here, it means add them all up, add them all up. So summation of the mass of isotope times relative abundance, okay? So depending on the element, you may have two isotopes, you may have three isotopes, you may have four isotopes, lots of options. And so what you would do is for each isotope, you would take its mass times its relative abundance, and then you'd add those all up together. Okay, so let's take a look at an example problem. Okay, so these would be word problems. Okay, and you just have to find the information that you need. So there are two different isotopes of copper atoms. One type of copper atom weighs in at 62.93 and it's common at 69.09% of the naturally occurring copper. The other has a mass of 64.94, and the remainder of the atoms, 30.91%, have this mass. Okay, so to set up this equation, one thing to do is make sure that you keep the mass and the percent that goes with one isotope together. Make sure you're not mixing and mingling, okay? So our first uh, isotope, this number, and this number go together, so we gotta keep it together, okay? And the first thing we need to do is we need to take this percent and turn it into a decimal, okay? So 69.09%, turn it into a decimal. The easiest way to do that is simply to move that decimal place two to the left, so one, two, it becomes 0.6909. Um, if you don't wanna do that, you wanna use your calculator, you divide by 100. Okay, divide by 100, or simply move the decimal two places to the left. Then we just plug this into an equation. Okay, so 62.93, notice I didn't do anything to that number, I just brought it down, times the decimal for its relative abundance. Okay, so I move that decimal two places to the left, it becomes 0.6909. Okay, plus, now we have the second one, 64.94, I just brought it right on down times its percentage, okay, turn it to a decimal, so move it two places to the left, one, two, and it becomes 0.3091, okay? Then we do the math. So remember, for the math, what's in parentheses you do first, so do this number times this number first, bring it down, this number times this number, bring it down. So when we do the math for those two, this is what we get. So 62.93 times 0.6909 equals 43 point blah, 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 
okay? All those big numbers on the calculator, plus, and then we have this number, okay? After you have done each of the multiplication sets, no matter how, how many you have, whether it's two, three, four, then you add all of those answers you get for your final answer, okay? And don't forget, what do we need? We need sig figs and we need a unit, okay? We always have to have sig figs and a unit. So if we take a look at our sig figs, we see uh, that every single one of my original numbers provided they all have four sig figs, okay? Um, and just as a reminder, in case one had less, whichever number has the least amount of sig figs, that's how many sig figs your answer should have. But since all of these number ha numbers have four, that means that my final answer should also have four. So using my rounding rules, I get 63.55, and then the unit for average atomic mass is always AMU. Okay, so my final answer has four sig figs and a unit. And that is how you calculate average atomic mass.